I'm Mark Forster, the director of World War Z, and I'm here with Penny McLean. This is doing the final countdown of the film, and I hope uh, that you all go and, go and see it. Well, all I can say, Mark, from seeing your film, I jumped from the very beginning to the very end, I think almost completely out of my seat. I loved it. It was so amazing. Tell me about it. What is, oh, what is this Thank you so about? much. No, it's really, really great you're saying that because I tried to make the movie so real and that you really feel that you're on the edge of your seat for the entire time. And even, you know, if you can't take it more, can't jump behind your seat. <laughs> <laughs> but, but literally that was the, the, the intent to really make this real film that we come out of the theater and think, oh my God, this the end of the world could happen right now, this moment. And uh, that sort of was my intention. And let's start from the beginning. This is from a book, Max Brooks' book, mm -hmm. and it introduced this new world of zombies. And then you took it to this incredible film. Tell me if you had any creative differences from the book to your film. Uh, you know, the, the definitely, I mean, I, when I read Max's book, I really loved it and it inspired me. And it was the first, it was a great starting off point. But it's not your typical three-act linear narrative story. So uh, I wanted to create a central character and, and wanted to create a sort of three-act linear story throughout the movie that you can connect with this central character, which is played by Brad Pitt, and the character is called Jerry Lane. And uh, and sort of, uh, but the, the inspiration uh, was definitely there, but sort of it's more of a companion piece and the movie stands on its, on its own legs than a direct adaptation of the book. And when you were filming in so many different beautiful locations, what was your favorite part when you were filming of certain action scenes? I don't want to give anything away, but what was your favorite directing? I'm, I love sort of the, the the scene, the sequence we shot in Israel. It's sort of this the fall of Israel, but uh, or Jerusalem. Let's better mm -hmm. say it's the fall of Jerusalem. But it's it's really this was this incredible epic, enormous scale of a scene we shot there, and it was very uh, difficult because we were shooting for like weeks after week with like thousands of extras mm -hmm. and you ultimately you know as a director you wake up at the middle of the night and said can we just shoot a scene with two people having coffee <laughs> you know but <laughs> right. but but uh, it really paid off because it's a mixture between like a lot of very complicated cg work and also the lots of human uh, story and i think you you really portrayed that emotion of human um like survival from everyone trying not to do anything wrong like in the grocery store everyone was like him he put the scene mm. with the gun mm. and the cop didn't even bother mm. like because it mm. was the end of the world so to speak yeah. and we didn't know what was really coming and did you find with when with brad's uh character jerry he was such like a father first mm. before he did his job and did you was that like a main uh, mm. struggle for him as a character i think that was wonderful that he was kept saying no 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 mm. and when you were directing him was there anything that he found that he wanted to do differently like he was trying to be more of a dad sometimes <laughs> than a, a soldier for it, a un you, you know it was very important for me that you on one hand you have this fa intimate family story where he's an everyday kind of man everyday man and then ultimately on the other hand you have this epic end of the world scenario and the two stories sort of evolve parallel to one another but he brad himself always is about caring for the family and his character jerry lane is like protecting a family until he's forced to to go on a mission so his family can be saved and he's becoming this reluctant hero but the, the beauty about it is that everybody can relate to him and it, he's not becoming some superhero ever throughout the movie he's always be staying this sort of human you can relate and connect with and that's that's i i really loved it about the movie well i loved it and i wish you all the best and everyone needs to run to see the movie i can't oh, wait yes. to see no, it again <laughs> thank you no it's it's thank a, you. It's a I great appreciate that. <laughs> thank you so much i'm glad you loved it so much